Hello friends, I am Balaji and today I am going to show you how to create and execute your C-Sharp application without use of any IDEs like Visual Studio or Monod Apple. You can use any editor of your choice. So here I am using Visual Studio Code. You can even use Notepad++, Sublime Text or even you can use Notepad also. Okay. Now let's start. In Visual Studio Code, I have created a new C sharp file. So here I will create some basic C sharp so, public and sample public This is a basic C sharp. So, how to execute this application without use of Visual Studio? So here I am going to use one of the C sharp compiler, um, named CSC. CSC stands for C sharp compiler. If you install the .NET framework, means the CSC will be default available. On your system. Now I will show you where to find this CSC. So, go to your Windows Explorer. Go to your Windows directory there you want to go to Microsoft.net there go to Framework 64. Suppose if your machine is a 32 bit operating system, then go to this framework. But I am going to use this framework 64 version 4.0. There you can locate that CSC. Here it is. I am going to use this CSE to compile my C sharp application to EXE. So first I will set the path for this CSC. So I will go to my confront and then uh, first I will navigate to this folder. This is the directory. Okay, my sample.cs file is so, I want to set path for this CSC. So, copy this path and then write set path. You can double quotes. I will do set path. Now I will. Now it's showing that CSC is not recognized as internal or external. This is because I use space between So remove that space. Now type CSC. See, it's showing now Microsoft to search each other container and the version operating Now I can able to compile that C sharp application to EXE. So I will use EXE and then run to the That's all. Now I will see. Here you can find that sample.exe is available. Now I can able to run this application. It, it is actually running, but since we don't have any other task other than this printing, it is closing very fastly. So in order to block the screen, I will use console.readline. So this one dot console dot now, after printing this line, my screen will get blocked to receive some inputs. Okay. Now, again, I want to compile this application. Okay. 
to compare it to this way. Now, when I run this sample, see my screen gets blocked until I press any key. Now I press E and then press enter, it is, it is closing because after this console.relay, nothing is done. So, this is the way you can be able to compile your C sharp application to EXE. So, that's all for this tutorial. On our next tutorial, we are going to see how to use multiple C sharp files. Okay, how to compile multiple C sharp files into a single EXE. Okay, thank you for your kind listening and let's meet in part two of this tutorial.